Good morning students welcome back to alchemy online classes so student in our previous classes we learn about the coastal plains of india in that we learn about the two coastal plains of india western coastal plains which stretch from gujarat to kerala and the eastern coastal plains which stretch from west bengal to tamil nadu we also learn about the Lakshadweep Island and Andaman Nicobar Island. We learn that uh, Lakshadweep Island lies in the Arabian Sea, where the Andaman Nicobar Island lies in the Bay of Bengal. But they are not a single island. Lakshadweep Island is a group of near about thirty-six island, and Andaman Nicobar Island is a group of five hundred seventy-two islands. Now come to I think and reflect session. I think and reflect. Both Kanyakumari and Indra Indra Point are known as the southernmost point of the Indian Peninsula. How can a country have two southernmost point? Kanyakumari is the southernmost point of the Indian subcontinent or mainland India. Indra Point. is a the nicobar district of andaman and nicobar island india is the uh, southernmost point of in indian territory now we come to next session i discover session which of these plains the western coastal plains or the eastern coastal plains are called the rice bowl of india and why so the eastern coastal plains are called the rice bowl of india in the state of chatisgarh more than 20000 varieties of rice are grown which contributes to about 70% of the prod rice production in india it is followed by the andhra pradesh and telangana Now come to I link session. English one. Your friend is going on a vacation to the Andaman and Nicobar Islands. Write a brief letter telling him about some interesting facts about this place. So students, you have to write a letter as your English teacher taught you how to write a letter, and in that letter you have to give information that. Andaman Nicobar Island where it is situated it is situated in Bay of Bengal and it is a group of 572 islands the port player is capital of the Andaman and Nicobar Island and many other facts which you learn in this chapter that you have to write in that letter now come to i observe session What is seafood? What is the most common seafood that people eat? What are people who eat seafood called? Vegetarians or non-vegetarian? Seafood, which food food which we are getting from sea or ocean are known as seafood. The most common seafoods are crabs, fish, shellfish, and other things. and the people who are eating seafood are called non vegetarians now come to next session i extends accent session find out the meaning of these words and write them in your notebook islet the meaning of islet is small island second word is atoll meaning of atoll is ring spread island or islets formed of coral third estuary means a partially enclosed coastal water body where the river meets the sea and last word is archipelago a group of island lying close together in the sea or ocean now come to i learn for life session beautiful coral reefs are a home to a large variety of plants and animals 
they are formed by sea animals called corals that stay at one place throughout their life coral being to lose their color when they are affected by pollution before dying find out what will happen if corals no longer exist if corals will not no longer uh, will exist then a majority of marine life would be get danger corals are home to a wide variety of animals and serve as a source of food without them all the animals and human being will suffer as corals also form coral island over a period of time losing them would mean no new corals island and could be formed so in this chapter we learn about the eastern western coastal plains of india and the andaman nicobar island and the lakshadweep island